Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be testing a new nail gel and completing a correction with Builder Gel. It's going to be super interesting, so without any further delay, let's get started. I didn't film this sparkly manicure, but just posted up a photo of it on my Instagram. And if you think this is an eye-catching design, then just wait for the end of today's video. It's going to be beautiful. Last time I strengthened my client's nails with Builder Gel and everything looks pretty good except a little bit of lifting near the cuticle area. So today I'll be using an acidic primer. As some of you may have noticed from my videos, I really do love working with milky gels and poly gels. Even though sometimes they won't be seen under the design, it's always really pretty to look at during a refill. I filed down the natural part of her nails and now it's time for their cleanup. I'm taking my nail drill and cleaning up the cuticle area. And now for our nail drill unboxing. Some of my subscribers have been recommending this new nail drill to me, and I really liked the stylish and modern design of it, so I found one off of AliExpress and decided to give it a go. The JMD nail drill is super minimalistic and is powered by a touch screen. I also really like how it displays a large reading of the current speed. Another plus with this nail drill is that it doesn't vibrate, so in other words, the drill is powerful enough and has enough RPMs in order to accelerate. Thanks to this, it won't cause the client any discomfort while being used. I tested this nail drill and then used it with one of my clients. I usually use a couple of nail drills that I really like, Strong 210 and Marathon. Right off the bat, I can definitely say that this nail drill here works just as well. It's powerful and gets the job done, however the speed is a little less than my other nail drills. Usually switching over to another nail drill is uncomfortable, but the JMD nail drill isn't only stylish but also works great. Now back to our manicure. I'm coating her nails in a thin layer of the base coat, letting it cure, and then proceeding to our builder gel. I'm taking a thick molding gel and with a thin brush, evening out the tips of her nails. Her index fingers now points a little downwards, so I'm creating more volume there. Then I'm applying this beautiful milky builder gel and spreading it throughout her nail and sending each nail off one by one to cure underneath the lamp.
further, I'm coating her nails in a non-wipe top coat and letting them cure for no more than 30 seconds, which is very important because today we're doing a beautiful gold chrome finish. I started applying the chrome with a sponge, but it just wouldn't stick, which kind of worried me at first. But then I decided to apply it with my finger and it went on perfectly. Then I'm taking a rubber cuticle pusher and using this to get the chrome powder perfect by the cuticle. But that's not all. On top of this beautiful gold chrome powder, we've decided to coat her nails in a platinum cat's eye polish that is mainly transparent. Then with a magnet, I'm concentrating the shine into the middle of her nail. I'm coating this gorgeous finish in a final top coat and our nails are ready. This design turned out absolutely incredible, I just couldn't stop looking at it. It has so much character and depth and, as you all saw, is pretty simple and quick to complete. And here are some pictures for my dear client. The finish is holding on wonderfully, but it does look like it'll be time soon for a correction. What do you guys think of today's design? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.